This is Coffee with Kerry, where we chat to amazing people who are going to be challenged to step from behind their professions and join me for a combination of getting to know them and having lots of fun. I believe we often miss out on having fun in our lives, as often life gets too busy. If you're looking to inject more fun into your world, join us here every week. And now it's time to get the show started. Welcome to Coffee with Kerry. Welcome back. Here is another show, another week, another episode, and I'm so glad you've joined us and thank you for being here. But let me introduce today's guest. The wonderful, the amazing Miss Crystal Fox is here with us today and Crystal is the host of Crystal Ball, Clarity of It All podcast. We're going to talk about that a little bit later. Welcome to the show, Crystal. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here and coffee is my jam. I'm an espresso girl. You know that. And coffee mugs, I have an entire selection, which I know we will get to, but I'm just excited to be here. We (laughs) will. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. I've been looking forward to this recording and yeah, I just know that we're going to bring it and it's going to be amazing. So thank you for being here and we will move into round one. (laughs) Round one. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Excellent. (laughs) (laughs) Round one, Crystal, I've changed it up, is going to be five fun facts about Crystal. So... You will see behind me, I have a numbers board. Hopefully you can see the numbers. We have numbers 1 to 20, and you need to select five of those numbers for me to grab the mystery questions so we can get to know you a little bit better. Okay, 20, 1, let's do 8, 14. Hmm, which one should I do, guys? Let's do 12. I am loving this board. Oh, yeah, it's a good board. All right, so you started with, hang on, I got them all mixed up, all mixed up. So 20, then we went one. Crap, then I think we went to eight. Yep. No, 12. 12, 8, and 14. Got it. Got it. Lovely little rainbow. Very good. All right. So starting with question number 20. Oh, and before I go, caveat, you have chosen these. So it's not my fault. That's why you picked the numbers, by the way. <laughs> no. Okay. Ooh, okay. Right, taking it away. Question number 20. What is your favorite hobby or something you look forward to in your spare time? Ooh, this was actually something I talk about every single week, and that is my happy hour. So on Fridays, I host a happy hour on Clubhouse, and right now it's traveling through the clubs, and we do trivia. We have theme nights, one of them being corn. So we did corny jokes and had corn frames. Um, So that is something I look forward to every single week because it is on the Friday, and it kind of starts off my weekend. That's amazing. I was in that corn room and I remember, oh my God, trivia, it was all happening. I was like, oh, this is like coffee with Kerry. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's a great space, Crystal. You you hold it and you hold it religiously every week and it's fantastic. So encourage anyone listening to hop over, follow Crystal on Clubhouse first and foremost. And secondly, mm-hmm. grab that that happy hour on Friday. It's amazing. So thank you for doing that. That's That's great. Thank you. All right, we are hopping into the next question, which I don't know if is in order, so we'll see what happens, but it's question number one. What is your favourite colour and why? Ooh, easy, pink. Ta-da! Pink. Behind me, Ta-da! take a hello. I love pink. I have ever since pink Power Ranger days. I don't know if you're familiar with Ooh. the Power Rangers, but me. Yes. 
Yeah, so me and my friends used to fight over who was going to be said pink Power Ranger. Um, We tried to take turns, but most of the time we were fighting over that. And then I am actually born on Valentine's Day. So hearts, pink, red, it fits the bill. I love pink. Beautiful. Beautiful. There you go. And I think you look amazing in pink too, by the way. It matches your colouring. It's all sensational. Thank you. And I love Barbie. (laughs) I was always like, I'm the plus size Barbie, you know, because all the pink, I wanted the pink car. Now I want a pink Jeep. And my husband is like, okay, one day. (laughs) So no pink car yet, but it's on the list. On the list. It's on the list. It's happening. It's going to happen. Watch this space. Watch this space. That's it. Awesome. (laughs) All right, question number 12. Okay. What kind of morning person are you? Do you bounce out of bed or hit snooze 15 times? Now, see, I'm the bounce out of bed. I am literally (laughs) – my husband can't stand it. I'm like that 5 a.m. that needs – but I just like wake up without an alarm and he's like, what – hey, what – what time is it? I'm like, it is time for us to get up, you know? So I'm on the go and I drink espresso literally almost right, right when I get up, I just hit the button and I have like these little espresso cups and I love them. And yeah, so I'm the early bird, but I married someone who could sleep until one for sure. For sure. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting combination. Mm. I can picture you kind of packing for the daily road trip if you're going out somewhere and you've got the car packed by 6am and he's he's still in bed. (laughs) He hasn't moved yet. Or better yet, he knows your voice because I'm in bed sometimes like this on the podcast morning chat. Like, hi guys, welcome. And he's over there like, who's that? And I'm like, I'm in the podcast morning (laughs) chat. They're my friends. It's the pod fam. That's what I call everyone. This is the pod fam. So you you know what time the room starts. That's what I tell them. You know what time it starts. I have to be there. (laughs) (laughs) That's it. He has to transform and get used to that space because it ain't changing. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Love it. All right. Question number eight, Crystal, you have selected this one. Mm. Are you a pet owner? I am. I have three cats. Three. Everyone is like, how do you have three cats? I don't think it's that much. They each have their own personality. So their names, I have Bella. I've had her since I was 19. I have Jude and Carver. They are brothers and they're almost like a yellow, white color, but they talk all the time. Like there are children and they, they go around and talk all the time. They love treats. They know when I say treats, they can, they do fetch a lot and they're cats. Yep. So um, they're very much our, our kids and um, all different personalities, but I love them. So hashtag cat mom right here. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. All right, final question is number 14. Then you're out of the hot seat, maybe just for a little bit, but not long. Okay, we'll see. (laughs) Who, you you may have already answered this, but it could be something else. Who is your favourite fictional character? And before you go, you may know the answer, but would you like some thinking music? I actually need thinking music on this one. Let me think. Was the thinking music long enough? That's the question. (laughs) I could have used another 20 more minutes. No, I love that sound too. (laughs) I just wanted to keep sitting there thinking. Uh, Okay, so outside I said Barbie. I love Barbie. Um, But I would actually Mm -hmm. say I'm a Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. And I would love to, you know, be a a witch. And if anyone can hear uh, me using my wand, my imaginary wand, um, yes, I'm addicted to Harry Potter and I will watch them every single weekend, probably until the day I die. And mm-hmm. then me and my husband will go around and like, we just kind of will say, like mimic them from the show and just start laughing. Um, so I would say Harry Potter because it just comes with all of those characters and that entire, 
I, I would go until maybe like six, like movie six, mm-hmm. like up until movie six, like past that. I'm good. I don't want to be in the movie anymore. <laughs> it gets a little dark. <laughs> I like all the beginning stuff where it's all mystical and magical. Um, that's probably my favorite. Yeah. Harry Potter for sure. That's exactly that's exactly how I was going to respond. The mystery and the magic and and all the you know sorcery and stuff. That's just so fantastic. So well done. Good answer. Good answer. See, the thinking music helped. It did. It, it did help. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Awesome. Crystal, we are moving into the next round. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. The next round is the mugshot. Have you brought your favorite novel, one of maybe, novelty mug? Okay. I, I don't think you're ready for this. Okay. I might okay. I'm probably not. I'm- outside of your large mug, I might win this one for the season because. Oh, love it. I'm going to do a slow motion. Theater. Get out of town. (laughs) Oh, my God. That is fantastic. Okay. What? Close shot. It is Oreos. Yeah. You don't even have to, like, get your fingers dirty. (gasps) Nothing. And it goes right into there. Look at that. Oh, oh. That's just the perfect match. That is amazing. I love that you've actually got milk in it too. <laughs> yes, I have almond milk because, you know, these Oreos are not going to go to waste. And uh, no. this is hands down one of my favorite cups because, you, you know, it's a twofer. I, I, I'm all about twofers. Yeah. You got your Oreos, you got the little thing and just. Brilliant. Brilliant. I did not even know that that existed. I had no idea that that was even a thing. Like, you, you've just opened you my mind. Now. I'm going to have to send you one, and then oh you can put God. whatever you want in oh. it. I mean, um, you can even, you know, throw some peeps in there and dunk them into, <laughs> into your <laughs> milk. The peeps. the peeps. Oh, my God. I'm still, I'm still yet to experience the peeps, but I know it's going to happen. They've just been sold out since Easter here. Like, with the American online stores options that we have, they're still sold out. It's like there's a peep conspiracy, I'm sure. <laughs> of it <laughs> um, Carrie is not supposed to have peeps <laughs> I'm dying because I can't believe they're sold out I bought like yeah. I don't even buy them um yeah no one day I will send them though we will all send you some and then you're gonna have a million peeps at your house and your husband's gonna go what is going on what is going on Carrie that <laughs> we were supposed to be doing coffee not peeps <laughs> I know, I know. I can picture this mountain of peeps arriving in all these wonderful parcels and Kerry will take one bite and go, oh, no, not for me. <laughs> There's be this mountain of peeps. <laughs> oh, dear. Hope not, hope not. And I doubt it because I do have a very sweet tooth. So hopefully I'm on board with the peeps. That would be the best outcome for sure. Um, if not, just send it to the next podcast, fam. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Pass. Share the love. Share, Share the, the peeps, love yeah. for sure. So, Crystal, I have a mug for today and it is one of my most favourite mugs. I've had this guy for a little while now. Mm -hmm. And when I say a little while, geez, I don't even know. I found him in the cupboard. I forgot I even had him. And it is my minion mug. I don't know if you can see that. (laughs) I can see him now, yes. Oh, that is the best. That is the best. Yes. I just love my minions. They've been in my life for so long now. And as you can see behind me, there's a collection of minions there as well. So I have my three favourite, obviously, Bob, Stuart and Kevin. Oh, my goodness. My husband would be so jealous to know that you have all of this. Hands down his favourite movie. (laughs) And minions, like, will go around and talk like, like we're just ridiculous but we love to be nine we love to go back and be nine again so that movie is one of those movies that we'll turn on on a saturday so i love that and i can't wait to tell him because uh i I didn't even notice this entire time he's over your shoulder yeah it's hiding it's (laughs) hiding behind me so i have the they're actually in a box and they've got like the whole plastic i have not unraveled them and they've got this button to press and they they do some kind of action but i've had them so long now i think i bought them maybe like four or five years ago the buttons don't work anymore but they're still my friends they're still your friends they're so cute at least they're not damaging anything in your house so 
this this is true. Mm-hmm. This is true. Do not open the boxes. There could be something crazy happen, so mm-hmm. they can stay in the box. <laughs> Crystal, can we do a cheers to oh. the screen of our mugs, please? I don't want you to drop your cookies or, or, or your milk or anything. Cheers. cheers. Okay. Well done. Awesome. That's actually really good. Very good. All right. Next round, Crystal. Ding, ding. Oh, we are up to, if you can see this one, Okay. Survivor Challenge. Mm. <laughs> this one takes a little bit more thought, but maybe not. So the rules of Survivor Challenge, you need to choose three celebrities to take with you on a deserted island to survive. You have no supplies and you can expect to be there forever unless rescued. Three celebrities. And this, I feel like we need that music that goes like, do, no, 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 no. You know, the, the, not, the, not the thinking music, but the, what, what do they do on like those game song? shows? Like it's, oh, uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 that's what I need. Do, I don't have that. Oh. Would you like some thinking music anyway? Yes, thinking music. Three celebrities to take with me. Mm-hmm. I could play that all day. <laughs> think it's really relaxing it's it is it's very very documentary but I get distracted like I couldn't think and listen to that at the same time I don't know how you've done that (laughs) (laughs) I kept saying three celebrities three celebrities three (laughs) okay here I go here you go okay I would choose my first one because I get to choose a celebrity would hands down be Kelly Clarkson Kelly Clarkson, favorite celebrity ever. She can sing, Mm -hmm. and she grew up on a farm, so she's country, so I feel like she could help a girl out and find some food on the island. And then I'm going to go for – I'm going to leave this really good one for last because you're going to laugh. My second one would be – ooh – Crocodile Dundee. Hello. 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 And Mm -hmm. my third is really funny, and I'll tell you why. It's uh, Kim Kardashian because I feel like we would get rescued very quickly (laughs) if she was there. (laughs) (laughs) And if not, she would have the the means to fly in something. (laughs) She would just phone a friend real fast. Mm-hmm. She would have someone on call for everything you would need for sure. Yeah, oh someone's going to know Kim's missing. Yeah. And I'm going to be yeah. there like, love this. SOS. <laughs> SOS. <laughs> over here, over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, my God. So you've got Kelly Clarkson, you've got Crocodile Dundee, and you've got Kim Kardashian. Now, obviously – Kim Kardashian is the rescue flag, like that is just or or supplies. We've decided it could go either way, rescue or supplies. Yeah. And let's go back to Kelly Clarkson, so singer, country girl, you know, just rocking it. That would be cool and entertaining at the same mm-hmm. time. So that's that's pretty good. Crocodile Dundee, where did this one come from? Mm. Mm. Actually, my father used to watch his movies when I was younger, like religiously I, I think he imagined he was crocodile dundee he had like even the light colored hair like you know like the blonde and stuff and um yeah, yeah so we would always watch those movies and i got to thinking well i couldn't think of the guy's name who's on survivor so mm-hmm. i mean crocodile dundee is resourceful and he does all the sneaky stuff he's like i'm over here nope i'm over there oh i got all these like Here's a here's a knife. Here's a knife. You know, like he is ready yep. to take anyone down. Um, so yeah, those those would be my <laughs> top three. Um, I feel like I would I would survive. 
you you have survived. I think you've done really mm-hmm. well. Like congratulations. And again, Kerry needs a bloody applause button. What the hell, man? <laughs> <laughs> Just, well, anyway, <laughs> I can't get enough buttons for this show, I swear to God. Well done, Crystal. You have survived. The jury is out. It is decided. You've nailed it. So congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Like, you have no idea. My husband's <laughs> going to be proud because if I was going to be on the island for too much longer, he was going to worry. Mm. Oh, absolutely. That's right. You've got to get back mm-hmm. for sure. For sure. Love it. Love it. <laughs> All right. Next round. Okay. We are going to move into Aussie Word of the Week. I have selected, pre-selected, I confess, a word. The word today is yui. Like you do a U-turn with your car? You do oh, a man. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Nailing it. Nailing it. Is, is that a common word over there as well? Or is it just Kerry that thought that that was pretty original? No, not really. <laughs> um, like a, yeah, take a Yui. It, it was more, I feel like, uh, when I was younger, I would hear it. The more now, it's like U turn now. I feel like everyone uses U turn, but do a Yui, do a Yui. I was so used to that. So, oh my God. Oh my God. Nailed it. Congratulations. I can't believe this. It's because I survived the <laughs> island. That's it. That's it. It led you to this place where you're just going to smash it, smash it out of the park. I love it. I love yeah, it. and I do think that All maybe right, now- it was Crocodile Dundee. He told me about Yui. Maybe it was him that actually told me on the island. Maybe. Makes sense now. Maybe. There you go. There you go. <laughs> now, Crystal, do you have a word that comes to mind that Kerry might not know? Little Kerry in Down Under in Australia, mm-hmm. not very international at all. There could be a word. Okay. I will tell you that there are people stateside that do not know this word until I explain it to them. Okay. Dodab. I say what now? Dodab. <laughs> okay. How do I spell this? Dodab. Okay. D O U G H D O B. One word. Do-dub. Oh, okay. So uh, the first thing now that I've spelt it, mm-hmm. the first thing that comes to mind is donuts. Very close. See where I'm going with this. Very close. Oh, uh, I'm getting close. Very close. Mm. Do-dub. Do-dub. Donuts. Donuts from the do-dub. Do-dub mixes the donuts. Donut. Do-dub could be the do-tub of the donut world. It could Ooh. be... Oh, okay. So is is the dough dub maybe the, the the tub of mixture that the donuts go in after they're cooked, like the salty, not salty, <laughs> salty donuts, no. Uh, the sugary cinnamy, cin- cinnamony, cinnamon, oh, I can't even say it. Cin- you know, that, that stuff. <laughs> yeah. One more time for the crowd. Cin- cin- cinnamony, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, my God, I can't even speak. Cin- cin- cinnamon. Cin- Sin, sin, I'm stopping right now. <laughs> the stuff that goes on. <laughs> the stuff that goes on the outside of the donuts, that sugary, lovely, yummy stuff. So is the dough dub the tub that the donuts go in to be coated? It is not. Did I get it? it is not. So let me explain to you what a dough dub is. Do you want one more? One second. No, one second. <laughs> Fail. Okay, please explain. You were close. <laughs> it's pretty much just flour, water, and a little bit of milk. And then you literally take it and you dab it on like a huge dab. That's what we call it. We dab it. It's very country. And on a griddle. And then it becomes this like fried kind of dough on each side and then my mom used to put like a very heavy gravy over it or you could just dip it in gravy but she would always call them dough dobs so we would have literally right. dough dobs so it was very close if it was like the dough of the donut uh, very similar but no sugar like I mean flour sugar but you know what I'm saying there's no extra sugar yeah. to it and you would put butter on it it was almost like your homemade biscuit 
Oh, yes. With like yeah. mom's touch. So she, oh, yes, we course. would have piles of dumb dabs. Mm. That's what we call them. It's um, very Southern. Very Southern. <laughs> right. And the world makes sense again. <laughs> Yay. Oh, my God. Great word. Great word. Thank Jeez, you. you're really bringing it, Crystal. I'm tell, telling you right now, future guests, look out. You're going to have big shoes to fill here. I'm getting all the <laughs> points today. They better, Mike, watch you're out, really, Mike. <laughs> you, that's it. That's it. You really are. Crystal, I do need to take a very small break, mm-hmm. and I would love to mention that today's episode is supported by... Kim White from My Sexy Business. They will help you stop trading time for money and show you how to collaborate your way to more profits. You can visit mysexybusiness.com. Yay! We love My Sexy I've been Business. A bell or a bell. We do. We really do. Kim is fantastic and she's been on the show and, yeah, I love catching up with her all the time. She is so special. Oh. And I don't have a, like, I need a, like, a Kim music. Oh, hang on a second. I reckon I do have. I need, hang on, I think I've got something here. Bear with me. Still learning how to play with this game. Oh, I've just found the applause. (gasps) Oh, my God. Oh, and I found another button. Oh, there's one. Forgot about that one. That one's good. Oh. I love how many buttons you have. I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it. Slowly, slowly. Give me time. Give me, give me a couple of months, and I'll be all over this. I won't even be looking at the board. I'll, I'll, I'll be like this, like some kind of weird DJ or something, doing some crazy stuff. <laughs> all right, Crystal. I have a question for you. Okay. A few, actually, or a couple. I'll say a couple. What is your favourite podcast that you have to listen to, like every week, week on week, or whenever it comes out? What what's what you go to? Is there one that you look forward to each episode? Oh, okay. I have one that had stopped and I miss, which is Three oh. Girls One Keith with Amy Schumer. And would have me laughing at work because I used to play in my ear all the time. And the, just their dynamic. And then they also are full of sounds. And they like pretend oh, cool. sing through segments, um, which is really cool. And I would have to say now I really like Smartless. That one's really good. Mm. And gosh, I, I have so many. <laughs> I'm going to leave it to those two as I I truly love the funny ones. I do listen to obviously my own hello, like 20 million times when I'm editing. And um, yeah, I would say, I I think that's why I listen to like the funny ones. And today I was listening to um, coffee with Carrie. Oh, there you go. Of -hmm. course. Of course. Oh, I love it. Love it. So that leads me into my next question mm. about your own podcast. So why did you start your podcast? Dun, dun, dun. Um, yes. Oh, that's what we need. <laughs> Do you got it? No. Next time. No. <laughs> next time. Um, yeah, so I actually started Crystal Ball Clarity of It All because I was going through this, like, space and time um, really feeling like I lost my voice. I am super in people's faces. If you can't tell, I'm very much an extrovert, but during this time I went very introvert and I decided that this mic, which is still the same one, um, you know, I say I found my voice with a $25 mic because it's true. And I felt like I just had this piece of the world back. Like I just had this corner where I fit in and I was experimenting like experimenting with so many different things on my podcast for season one. It went all over really. And now I'm sitting here in season three, very much explaining my mental health journey and meeting amazing, amazing guests that have shared their stories. And yeah, I'm excited to where it has grown. I'm very like proud of myself to be honest, because a lot of people do go through the pod fade. But yep. I I really was inspired and truly when I met all of you in the morning chat, I was like something in me. It was like, 
like this is where I belong. This is what I've been wanting to do. So that's really how crystal ball clarity of it all really came around. It, it really spiraled from like a dark time in my life that turned into light. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's so amazing. And Crystal, do you mind me asking, mm-hmm. when did you actually start this? Because being in season three now, mm-hmm. like that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was yeah. actually uh, pre-pandemic. So it was uh, 2019, 2018, mm-hmm. 19. Yeah, it would have been 2019 I actually started it. So yeah, I, you know, pretty much like a season a year. And yeah, I love it. Season three is probably my favorite just because of of all the stories I get to hear. Of course, I've been very vulnerable and shared, which has been mm-hmm. a healing process. So huge mental health advocate and with a twist, like there is a lot of humor that we throw in and, you know, life is all of those experiences, not just the sad ones. It is. It is. You're right. And I love your podcast. I think it's brilliant, by the way. I love seeing you on socials and tuning into your episodes. It just, there's just a piece of that. And, and it's you. It's, there's a lot of you in there. I know you interview great people and, and have fantastic conversations, but as the host, I turn up for you. Like I really do. I really enjoy who you interview and, and those episodes, but you are the, the, the rock behind that space for me so I just appreciate that so much and thank you for everything that you're doing in that space it's amazing um thank you for supporting it too and being a mental health advocate because people like us change so many things and I've always said I feel like podcasters always make a podcast because they don't want someone else to be alone and that's yes right if you think about it Yep. It's this connection and it's audio, it's your voice and it's something completely different. And of course, with so- social media, you get to see people's faces and kind of elevate it with video recording. So I mm. love where it's come and uh, podcast is growing. It's amazing. And the community mm-hmm. is really good. I've never seen a more uplifting community. Same, same. And let's go back to that for a second mm-hmm. because we did meet on Clubhouse and that's just been a whole nother journey of life for me. Like that, for, it started in January. When did you enter the platform? Was it, it was late maybe December February, or January? Almost March. It was the last week of February. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep. Yep. And when I joined the community, I, you know, you start to hear people, the voice, the voice component, like you can curate social media until the cows come home as far as I'm concerned. But once you get on one of these audio platforms, man, the strength of actually hearing people speak and hearing their genuine nature and you can filter through that BS so quickly as well, which I love. Um, but yeah, finding a community, finding a home. And I just feel so fortunate that I found that on Clubhouse. And you're right, like the RTP and the morning chat and the podcast community is a greater, a greater endeavor. Huge, huge. And I think I've said this in one of the rooms recently, if it wasn't for that space and that community, I think I would have succumbed to Podfade. I really do. It gave me a new little little light and a little you know glow and and a a reason to continue and yeah it's just so good so good and you can see it on your face and look at coffee with carrie you went from having one podcast now you're running two which is amazing and this one is so much fun i mean you have a whole production i am enjoying it hands down and i i feel like without the community i would have done the same Season three probably would not have happened, or at least it would have been very, very solo and short. Mm. And the other aspect as well, I don't know how you feel, Crystal, but actually turning up for our podcast now, talking in this community and coming on stage and having a voice took away so many layers of butterflies. Like I feel like I'm actually starting to turn up closer to the real Kerry, like the, the real Kerry is a little bit colourful so we, we haven't quite gone there yet but yeah I feel like my voice is is you know and, and my what's what is that the confidence you know to be behind the microphone and be turning up and having these we do it every well, most of us 
us addicts do it every day on Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. You know, we turn up, we speak, and it just, it's not a big deal. So then when you actually go to record, the last couple of months of recording especially has been fantastic in in both shows, I will say. (laughs) And I also feel like this show and, and Clubhouse and the community yeah, like I'm I'm starting to turn up. It feels amazing. Oh, it really does. I see it too. I have to say my first day up on stage when I was meeting, meeting all of you, I my voice had never shook so much in my life. I was like, I sound like a lamb. I'm like, hi. Like I'm trying to bring, And then it has taken me two months to remember to breathe in between sentences. And I'm like... <laughs> I get going and I don't want anyone to wait on me for talking slow. So then I go and go and then I'm like, I'm panting behind the mic like, oh, (laughs) so when I first met you guys, I was like, my cheeks were red. I was like, uh, and I was like, pretty much a run on sentence and everything I said for two months, every time I like spoke and I was like, like I would wait. To push the button. Yeah. That's how I was. So I feel like I'm getting way more confident, especially when you're running spaces and interacting with yeah. plenty of different people um, and just keeping yeah. it going. That's what I feel like the happy mm-hmm. hour has taught me a lot. It's like breathe, Crystal. Absolutely. Breathe. Yep. Yep. <laughs> And, and the whole moderating a room space, that is just next level stuff. You know, when I first did it, like way, probably way too early, if I'm honest, and I was like, you know, I was a mess, like I was a nervous wreck. But I remember the first time I went into Real Talk Podcasting, I think before clubs even existed mm-hmm. and they just had the morning chat room and I was in there, I was doing circles in my walk-in road, wardrobe. I was that goddamn nervous and I'm like, and I couldn't even work out why. I'm like, I've been doing a podcast now at that stage I think for like nine months or, or something I've been turning up I know how to speak but it's amazing when you enter this new environment and particularly when you're surrounded by other podcasters you get this I'm going to be judged I'm so going to be judged oh nerves nerves, nerves butterflies oh my god oh my god and then I'm like, am crazy, I asking crazy. this right? Am I asking the question right to what I want to mm-hmm. say? But am I? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I like. I still see you tur- doing like circles in your closet. Yep. Bad, bad, like like frantically pacing around this tiny, oh, man, what is it, like half a metre by half a metre? Mm-hmm. Like it's not even a big, there's this little floor space because it's all the hanging stuff all around it and carries in there on the phone like trying to speak like a human and, yeah, epic fail, I'm sure. I can't remember what I said but I know I was crapping myself at the time. So <laughs> I like how you said that you were speaking like a human. That, that's probably my favourite part. Yeah. Um, what did your <laughs> – What did your husband think? Because you just (laughs) put yourself in there circling. I think he... I think he did actually come past before, like as I was asked to come up on stage, I got pinged to come up on stage and I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm on stage. And he's walked past the walk-in row, but what are you doing? Go away. Go away now. Just just go away. I, I can't. I can't. And I'm like holding the phone like this, like, oh, you just don't even understand what's going on here right now. And that was, I think, maybe because I got on the platform the day before his birthday, like the night before, and then the next day was his birthday and I went, no, I'm putting it away. I won't touch it. I'll wait until after his birthday. Mm -hmm. And it was the next day after his birthday that I was in the wardrobe, like having a complete meltdown. (laughs) Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, Clubhouse, crazy though, stuff. but look at us now. We're, like, talking. There's video. There's all of this stuff. But, like, every time I was like, oh. So we had pretty much this, <laughs> a very similar experience. <laughs> Definitely. Husbands, Definitely. Not and now. We're busy. That's it. That's it. Stay away. Stay away. And now, like I sit in my office, I've got a, a light outside the, the office here. So if it's red, they know that I'm recording or I'm on stage on Clubhouse. So that's like the red stay away light. Um, but <laughs> yeah, but I leave them. You know, oh, sorry, microphone. I always hit you sometimes. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
um, yeah, so I leave the curtains open and then, you know, I'll go mobile and walk around the house with it and just, yeah, it's all L casual now, like has been for some time. But, man, that initial inception of Clubhouse was very, very nerve-wracking. <laughs> uh, hands down. And then I, I want to go back. You have a red light. Like, you have a whole studio. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. I love this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's wrap up the show and then we will have more, no doubt, conversations. Crystal, thank you so much for coming on and recording with me and having some fun. That was really fun. You won all the prizes, by the way. If there was a – I've got to start a point system. Maybe part of the board could turn into like a guest tally point system and then we could have prizes at the end of of six months or something. We could do something. Maybe someone gets a coffee with Carrie – mug mm, they exist they exist, they exist. That, so that could be a thing it could be that who could has be the a best thing. mug and who mm. answered all the questions right it could be like a two winner and we all vote or something i don't know oh, i love putting it to a poll for sure we could reach out to the audience they could do the voting and then the guests themselves can add their votes <laughs> Love it. Love it. See, improving the show. This is fantastic. This is what I need. I love it. (laughs) Crystal, thank you again so much for your time. And if you don't mind, I would love to play us out and have a little dance. Oh, I am ready and I brought shades for going out. Oh, man. I do not. I Wait, I do. Yes. Mine aren't as fancy as yours, but I will press the button anyway. Let's do this. Thanks for tuning in to Coffee with Kerry. You can catch us weekly and I'd love to receive your rating or personal review. See you next week.